Hello. Uh, before I start, I just uh, I'll, a few words of introduction about the, the sounds that um, I'm going to be playing. Um, I, I'm uh, attempting to give a, an impression of the sounds that would have been heard in the Great Exhibition of 1851, and they're mainly mechanical sounds of, uh, um, uh, uh, from the Great Age of Steam. Um, a couple of these were recorded at the Science Museum, um, and one of them was of the uh, model um, uh, double beam engine um, built by Benjamin Hick and Isaac um, Bolton. And that dates from 1840, but that uh, model machine was displayed at the Great Exhibition. And it's still running at the Science Museum. Uh, it's in a, in a glass case uh, in, in the ground floor first gallery. You can, you, uh, you, it's by the James Watt section. Um, you can't hear it uh, because it's in, in, enclosed in, in plate glass, but they uh, uh, very kindly removed the glass so I could actually record it, so that was very special. Um, there are also historic recordings on, on, of machines on uh, 78 uh, RPM shellac discs. And I'm going to close the, uh, the, 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 the program with a couple of, uh, of archive recordings from 1888. And they're the earliest um, uh, uh, recordings of live music known to exist in this country. And they were recorded at Crystal Palace, uh, but the Crystal Palace when it was moved to Sydenham. Uh, and it, uh, during a Handel festival, and it's of um, 3,000 uh, strong choir of um, singing uh, uh, passages from Handel's oratorio, Israel in Egypt. Um, those uh, recordings sound very decrepit. Uh, uh, they haven't aged very well. Um, and you strain to hear these 124-year-old voices through a patina of surface noise and, and, and decay. Uh, but I, they're, they're, I've downloaded those from the internet, they're, they're, they're freely available, and I've actually um, I've transcribed them back onto wax cylinders for, a, for an authentic reproduction. Um, so I uh, hope you'll enjoy the sounds. Thank you.